Hello all, I am Dr. Prabhas Chandranbal. In today's class, we will discuss about the viable prefix. What is the meaning of viable prefix? Okay, see here, what is the meaning of viable prefix? A set of, a set of prefixes, a set of prefixes, a set of prefixes in the right sentential form. A set of prefixes in the right sentential form, a set of prefixes in the right sentential form that are the left part of the handle that are the left part of the handle is known as viable prefixes it's known as viable prefixes okay this is another definition this one is the another definition you can see viable prefixes viable prefixes are nothing viable prefixes are nothing but the stack contained but the stack content of the bottom of parser. But the stack content of the bottom of parser. Okay. So these are the two definitions of viable prefixes. Now we'll see both. De now we'll try to understand both definitions with the help of one example. And what is the meaning of also? What is the meaning of viable prefix? Okay. First, we'll try to understand what is the meaning of viable prefix using the first definition. A set of prefixes in the right sentential form. So what is the meaning of right sentential form? Okay. Now first we'll do the right sentential form. This is one example is given. This is one example is given means one grammar is given. What? One contextual grammar A to A, B, A to A and B to B. A to A, B, A to A and B to B. There are, this, this one is the one of the context free grammar. Now we'll first we'll do the right sentential form. Right, right sentential, right sentential form. First we'll do the right sentential form. See. What is the meaning of right sentence? So now we'll see, suppose uh, one input string here, one input string is AB. One input string is here, AB, okay? See, how to get this input string? How to get this input string means AB. So we'll start from the start symbol means S, see, S2, A, B, then we'll then we'll derive b2 first then we'll derive again b2 b because it is right sentential form because it is right sentential form simply just copy this a just copy this a okay next next we'll derive this a so simply copy this b simply copy this b and then derive small a from capital now here we can get we can get this a v we can get this a v from this past from this past okay now we'll derive the viable prefix now we'll derive the viable prefix how to get see a set of prefixes in the right sentential form a set of prefixes in the right sentential form that are the left part of the handle that are the left part of the handle. Here in this line, in this line, see, first we'll consider this line. In this line, we'll get the string like AB. We'll get the string like what AB. We can see, we can get AB. Okay. So what is the prefix of this AB? What is the prefix of AB? So we can get the prefix like epsilon, A, then AB. Right? Now, in the next one, in the next one, here, in this line, we can get the string like what? A, B. We can get the string like AB. So, what is the prefix? Here, in for this AB, the prefix are like epsilon, A, AB. Okay? Now, here, here, in this line, in this line, the string is like AB. 
What is the prefix? Here epsilon a. But here, listen one thing. A B is the proper prefix. So just skip. Since A B is the proper skip, proper prefix. Here A B A B is the proper prefix. Proper prefix. So that's why I just skip this A B. I just skip this A B. So now I'll just count. This is the. These are called as the viable prefixes. These are called as the viable prefixes. Now I'll count. The unique viable prefixes. See, from I'll just count the from the first line here epsilon, 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 then a, then a b. Oh, sorry. Then epsilon is already there. No need to write a. A is already there. No need to write. And A B is also unique. Then F is already there. No need to write. Then small a. Okay. So these are called as the viable prefixes. Viable prefix. Okay. So there are five number of viable prefixes. There are five number of viable prefix. So hope all of you understand. the first definition means a set of prefixes in the right sentential form so this one this is called as right sentential form this is called a right sentential form and that are the left part of the handle this is called as viable prefixes okay now we will try to understand what is the meaning of viable prefixes using the second definition second definition is viable prefixes are nothing viable prefixes are nothing but The star content, but the star content of the bottom of parser. Okay, so now we'll do the star content. See, star. Simply do star. Input buffer. Then action. Okay, so stack initial contents dollar or we can write like this stack initial contents dollar here input buffer is a b dollar so the first action the first action is always shift action first action is always shift so this is the dollar a then b dollar so just check. Is there any handle is possible? As yes. one handle is possible, a to a. So this is called reduce action. Reduce by a to a. So then this is a. This is b. This is dollar. Is there any handle is possible? No. So simply shift. Simply shift dollar a b. Then dollar. So now we'll see. Is there any handle is possible? As yes. one handle is possible, B to B. So this is a reduce by B to B. So then dollar A B. This is dollar. Is there any handle is possible? As yes. one handle is possible. This is S to A B. So reduce. Reduce by s to a b. So this is dollar s. This is dollar net accept. Now we'll see the star content. Here in the first line, the star content is nothing means epsilon. Here the star content is a. Here the star content is a. Here the star content is a b. Here the star content is capital A, capital B. So we will not include this star content means the starting symbol. We will not include the static symbol. So finally, the viable prefixes are here: epsilon, small a, capital A, capital A, small b, and capital A, capital B. Just check this one and this one. 
both are same. This one is and this one both are same. Okay. So we can use, you can use either, you can use either bottom up parser, bottom up parser, or we can use the right sentence form, right sentence form to find the uh, number of viable prefixes. Okay. So in this way, we can find the number of viable prefixes. Okay. Thanks for watching.